by an Angeline City. And now we're heading towards Subic Bay. Back in town station. Right. Now there's something that you need to know about this place. Not when you arrive at, at Dow Station, but when you depart from here. As soon as you pull up in a tricycle, there's various buses pulling out. And a lot of fellas in t-shirts, you still need t-shirts, will start approaching you in a rush. Come on man, get on this bus, get on this bus and all that. They are not official. They're just trying to help you on, on the bus with your luggage so that you can then extort a tip from you. The only people you should deal with in a place like this are the ones who are, you know, obviously have, have the white shirt, they were officially wear to the bus station. You know, don't let anyone rush you into anything in a place like this. Okay, well, just arrived at. Well, it is Subic Bay. I've seen signs for that. Appears to be a big shopping mall here, Harbour Point, somewhere in the bay. All of a sudden, things are starting, starting to look a lot brighter and more pleasant. Okay, so time for a tricycle or a taxi or whatever. Take it to my hotel. sudden things are starting to look very very pleasant. I'm in Subic Bay in the taxi here heading towards my hotel and it's looking good everything's looking bright and sunny and there's the sea over there and I'm seeing boats and I'm liking it already. There you go. I yeah, I forgot something anyway. Okay. I've been having a walk through the town anyway, so is there any nice little bars and whatever? Nice little restaurants that you would recommend? Uh, right that way, Bruce, sir. Where is that? Um, just a few minutes, um, yeah. four minutes, just like that. Um, it's near in Suzuki Beach. Yeah. You can see the, like, I'll, I'll give that a shot. I like the one down there yesterday. One where they do a nice curry, a Saturday special curry. I can't remember the name of the bar, but it was really nice. Okay, so I'm going to head that way anyway. What's your name again? Joy, sir. Joy, it's a lovely name anyway. Okay, take care. You have a lovely day. Well, it's a blazing hot day. I'm in Subic Bay, Saturday afternoon, March. Jesus, it is hot. This is one of those little side roads off the main drag, the main beach road, I suppose. Plenty of light down there. I'm going to have a walk around. I'm actually looking for an ATM, but I haven't seen one yet. I've seen some very, very skanky looking dogs around here. Hello. Hello, buddy. How are you? Cheers. Have a good day. Have a nice day. You have a nice day as well. 
Okay, now I don't know this area very well. I don't think I've been down this road before. What's that? Hello, yeah, he's waving. How are you, mate? How are you, mate? Yeah, you too. You too, son, anyway. What do you want? Oh, come on, I took me. Come on. You let me take your picture, so. Yeah, it's, it's five pesos for you. There you go. That's a, fi that's a five pesos, isn't it? Okay, yeah, have another one. There you go, okay? I know you shouldn't give to children, but you know, sometimes, you know, you just in that, that sort of mood, aren't you? You never know who's taking the money from them. Okay, well, I don't know what's down here, so I'm going to turn around and go back. Well, I've been in Subic Bay for, I think, three days now. It's okay, it's, it's you know, it's, it's not instantly likeable. But it's, well, the weather's fantastic. The beach is not really anything special. I will show you the beach, but it's not really the most appealing of beaches. It was an old uh, US naval base, apparently, this place. There are some nice rocking little bars, and I was in a very, very good bar uh, the last couple, couple of nights. And there's plenty of go-go bars and whatever, there's plenty of that sort of stuff here. But I'm just, for now, I'm just going to have a little walk around, walk around the main track. Hopefully I can see an ATM. Well, it's a more pleasant place to walk around than it would be if I was in Manila. It's got that nice little villagey rural seaside feel to it. Very nice. ATMs out of order, but I did see one the other day somewhere. You ought to see one somewhere. This is the main drag. The beach is, uh, you know, it runs adjacent to, to the beach. So I suppose this is probably the main beach road. Side roads are quite pleasant to walk along. Yeah, it's very, very good feel. You know, it's, it's great when you get away from the big cities and, and, and everything to get to a place like this. Still lots of life, and I'm getting to like this place in, in a way. I, you know, it took a while. There's a couple of incidents that made me not like it very much in the first 24 hours, but I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, now to cross the road. I've just spotted the ATM. I think it was the one that I used the other day. Okay, now that bar over there, the Velvet Touch. The Velvet Touch Lounge Bar, that is really good. Great live bands. Hello fellas, how are you? Hey? How are you all? Great live bands over there. Seems to be every night of the week and it's reasonably priced. They've, they've even got a raffle in there as well, it's bloody good stuff. It's okay mate, it's okay, you carry on, okay. I think I'm getting in everyone's way here, okay, so I'm going to have a little walk down to the beach, just to show you what the beach is all about. Oh, t oh tons of t-shirts mate, I can't get them to fit me. I said, oh. Well, well, I can't get them to fit me. I come, to, I come under the category of fat bastard. You know what I mean? And most of the t-shirts out here just ain't my size. Anyway, here we go. This is Subic Bay's beach. Well, there's a few people on it now. The other day when I first come down here, well, that was a Wednesday. There wasn't many people at all here. 
well, I don't know, I, mean, I suppose it looks nice. I've seen people swimming in there. You see, I've seen better, but it's clean, well, it's nice anyway. It looks better than when I first glimpsed it the other day. <laughs> Hello, how are you, eh? You having a good day? There you go, nice to see the locals enjoying themselves, making the most of the beach. Back at the main road, well you've got a couple of nice little go go bars here. Coco Lips and Bar 5050. Very, very close to the hotel that I'm staying to. Hello. So you've got go go bars here. Some of them are alright, it was in one of them, well, I've been in a couple of them. Last couple of nights. Now the hotel that I'm staying is just here and there's tons of nightlife around but that's not a problem with regards to noise what is a problem is that thing there, that church oh my god it goes off at about 6am there's all kinds of recorded church bells ringing 6am in the morning and then there's some kind of a speech I don't know what the hell they're saying but it, it, it's really annoying because well there's the hotel where I'm staying there and I can hear that loud and clear every morning at 6am and it really really is annoying well you know may your God be with you but I'm not a religious man and I really don't want to be woken up at 6am in the morning <laughs>